Elon Musk has just told reporters that full self-driving will work with no driver in the car by the end of next year. Hello, my friends, and welcome. To the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. My name is Sam Evans and I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. And by the way, do I believe full self-driving will be able to work without a driver, no interventions by the end of next year? Well, you know, full self-driving has just recently been updated with a new version. This new version, in my view, from what I'm hearing, is a significant improvement over the previous version. But I still do have my doubts on whether or not this will be able, by the end of next year, to allow to have no driver in the car. I think probably not. But I do believe it will work eventually. And I'll tell you when I think it's going to work. Now, Musk told reporters in Brazil that Tesla will have self-driving cars without the need for human drivers behind the wheel for supervision, or at all, around this time next year. Now, Musk has given some timeframes on when this would happen in the past. Of course, he's always been wrong. He's been optimistic on when it would happen. Now, this isn't the first time that Elon has made this same announcement. He famously has been claiming that Tesla will have 1 million robo-taxis on the road by the end of the year since 2020. Recently, Musk changed Tesla's 1 million robo-taxis by the end of the year goal to 1 million people in full self-driving beta. There's a pretty big difference between the two. The term robo-taxi implies that a vehicle can provide a taxi service without a driver at the wheel. Now, Tesla's full self-driving service, or beta, has all the features of a full self-driving system, but still it doesn't always work. People have to intervene sometimes when things don't go exactly as they should. This is why it still requires a driver behind the wheel at all times to be attentive, pay attention and take control. I mean, on freeways, highways, interventions are very rare, but off highways, much more common. Now, Tesla has kept on improving the system by testing through its full self-driving beta fleet and by collecting data to train its neural nets, it's sort of like training a child over the years, over time, as more information comes into the child's brain, the child gets better and better. So what, what does this mean? Well, with enough improvements, the child eventually grows up and gets a driver's license, right? Tesla hopes that its full self-driving system will eventually become safe enough to use without drivers monitoring it. Well, they hope that this will happen about this time next year. But there's been doubts about making it happen after many missed timeframes. A lot of people say it's never going to happen. Do I agree with that? Of course not. Never, ever say never. Unless you're just an idiot. I mean, to never say, I mean, to say something will never happen, you've got to have extreme confidence, which I think is verging on extreme arrogance. It's a very fine line between the two of those. Personally, I love what Tesla is doing to make full self-driving work. Why? Because it's going to change the world in many, many ways. It's an extremely positive idea. It's going to make car ownership unnecessary by the end of the decade. But obviously, it's extremely difficult. It's much harder to do than anyone thought. Anyone. There's no one that realized just how difficult it was when we started talking about these concepts more than a decade ago. Personally, I think Tesla's strategy is the right one. They're using vision only. Pretty much everyone else, not everyone, but almost everyone else, is using LiDAR or multiple LiDARs, radar, and other sensors in order to make their systems work. Tesla only uses computer vision and artificial intelligence. Now, Musk has admitted he could be wrong. He said, truthfully, he has gotten it wrong before. So the reality is he could be wrong again. So making predictions really take it with a grain of salt because he doesn't really know. He's just hoping that it'll be ready then. Now, I believe it's probably better for Musk to not say when the system will be working without a driver behind the wheel because, frankly, he's just guessing at this point. I love Elon Musk as much as pretty much 
well, as much as most people, which is a fair bit. I think Elon has a lot of fans all around the world, and so he should. He's done a lot for the environment. He's done a huge amount for the car industry. We would not be where we are today with EVs poised to take over the global car industry without Tesla and without Elon Musk. Now, some people are claiming it's going to take Tesla 20 years, and then it will happen, but it'll be 20 years into the future. I think that is extremely pessimistic and extremely unlikely. My view, and I've said it a number of times, is that it will happen in 2024. So we're looking at two to two and a half years from now. However, the point is here, once it is delivered, people won't care how long it took. They'll simply appreciate having this feature. Because why? Because you know how people die? You know how more people die than any other way in terms of accidents? Driving. There are millions of driving deaths every year. This system will prevent many of those deaths. I mean, eventually Tesla might be able to license their neural nets, license their software as a service to other automakers. That will also make the roads safer. The more cars with this system, the more people not dying on the roads, right? And the more people that will be able to just go to sleep in their cars. Or for example, if you fall asleep accidentally, as many people do right now, and then crash their cars, it's not going to matter. The car will be able to just continue to drive. Now, currently full self-driving costs 12,000 US dollars. So should you get it? I don't know, but I've ordered it personally, only though because... I've ordered it for the Tesla Cybertruck. And I don't think I'm going to get a Cybertruck until probably 2026 or 2027, in which case I would have access to software that actually works. If I can get in my Cybertruck and I can just tell the car I want to go from Melbourne to Sydney and go to sleep, well, that's what I'll do. It would be perfect for me and for my trips, my road trips with my boys, going to BMX tracks around Australia. It'd be awesome. The three of us could just jump in the car, go to sleep, arrive at our destination. So that would make sense. But if you're ordering Tesla full self-driving for a car coming out today, so the next 12 months, I don't think it makes a lot of sense personally. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. My advice generally would be, rather than investing in the full self-driving technology for the 12,000 US dollars it currently costs, you're better off buying the stock right now. The price is incredibly low. In fact, it's a 50% discount to where it was at only about four months ago. So put the $12,000 into Tesla stock. Then by the time Tesla's full self-driving actually does work in a few years, you can then take some of that money out. And I'm sure you'll have enough then to easily pay for full self-driving service. Now, some people currently absolutely love the software. Even though it doesn't work 100%, they still use it all the time. Some people don't love it so much. It really depends on what kind of driving you do. I know there's a lot of people here in Australia who use it predominantly to drive from Melbourne to Sydney, and they say that they don't really need to pay attention. Now, I don't recommend you do that, but I know there's a lot of people that do, and a lot of people swear by it. So it really depends on what your use case is. Now, some people are saying that Elon Musk just lies and lies and lies, that he's just a big fat liar. I don't agree. I think He's just an optimist, and he hopes it'll happen. He hopes so hard that he's saying it'll happen in 12 months. But will it? That's an entirely different story. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.